Caravan Salon Dusseldorf. This is the Foster T699 HB semi-integrated van. It's 699 centimeters long. It's on a Fiat Ducato base, as you can tell, and which means that it's going to be 235 uh, centimeters wide. Fiat Ducato version 232 through 35 in general. It's 287 centimeters high. It's a very good internal height. It costs 51,660. We've come through the garage and you can see one of its features immediately from the garage, which is the bed. And the bed is adjustable. So you can take it up, sorry, you can take it up or down depending on what you may have in the garage or what you may have. Uh, or, or uh, your fear of heights getting into bed or whatever. So you can choose your position. Also looking into the garage, we can see there is a huge amount of space in there. That's very good. They've also got some of these wind uh, protection, thermal protection things, which I've noticed in other vans. Now, if, if they're giving them away as part of the kit or not, I don't know, but I've got a feeling, I'm not certain, but. I think I got this company before. I'm pretty certain it's them, and I wasn't impressed by them. Oh, well, anyway, that apart. So if you uh, you buy a Foster, you could mention that to them. So walking around now the outside, it's got this very distinctive white and green colour. It's meant to be a brand which is cheaper than others, and this is slightly less money. Foster started around uh, 2013 or thereabouts, meant to be part, uh, so it is part of the Trugano Group and it was meant to offer cheaper vans. Right, this offers five-year guarantees, it's got a GFK um, roof and uh, walls and it's got whole um, wood-free construction. Sorry I wasn't saying it in German then. So you speak several languages, you get confused, it's, you put words in the wrong language. Right, now Let's have a look at the back first. Let's go to the back. So, we've got width-wise bed down here, which from this, from here, is relatively easy to get into. And there you have entry into the garage. Although, it's got a bit of wood there, so I'm not terribly certain why they want that. Next to this, we have the boiler. You might have been expecting some steps to get into the bed, but we've got the boiler down there and, uh, and a maze of pipes. Next to that we've got some hanging space and a tower fridge here with some space above it. Here right on the bed we've got these um, storage lockers, which looks quite good, though it wouldn't look so good, I suppose, if you were in bed and the, uh, there were these gaps outside. But anyway, as you can see, you can adjust the height to whatever you might want. Let's have a look. Unfortunately, the toilet door here completely yeah, it opens the wrong way. You get out of bed, I see you get out of bed at night, right, go out of bed, and you gotta get the door over. Right, so you gotta get through that gap there. So you can make it down here, and you come in like that. That is why sliding doors are so much better in uh, motorhomes. Right, shower. Excellent size. You've got a place to sit down there and get your feet clean. At least that's what I do. I mean, maybe other people don't do that, but I sort of sit down there. And just scrub my feet. Uh, it's got this flimsy plastic thing that sort of comes across on both sides, so that, that's that there, right, sink, toilet, and there's a window in the toilet, I like a window in the toilet, in the bathroom, I think it's, it's good to get some fresh air in there, it's also, it's also useful for leaving open when it's, uh, it's stuffy but it's raining, because you know, the, the bathroom gets wet, it doesn't make much difference, whereas uh, you, you probably wouldn't want to get other parts of the uh, van wet. Uh, the lighting is quite effective. It's, uh, you've got this uh, down there. Um, kitchen, uh, three burner Thetford stove, and 
and here we have a sink with a sort of a double a double thing on the uh, the cover. Um, there's plenty of space around the table. If you're sitting over there, there's room for your legs, and uh, the bulkhead, um, it, the the chairs up here. There's no nothing to stop you your head getting hit. So where's the extra bed? There it is. It's up there. That's really good in my opinion. You're sitting here driving and when you get up, you can get up without any problems. You've got the light streaming in from there. The bed comes down over the table. Now, I personally think that's a far better solution than those which are being offered by some of the more expensive brands. That is great. That gives you a, a huge amount of space here. I'm going to stand up now. So I'm standing up and there's what, about 100 and nearly 190 clearance, nearly, I would say. Right, there is a step there, but I'd rather have a step down there than be hitting my head against the bed. Alternatively, you might like to hit your head against the bed, so if you do that, then uh, you probably wouldn't want the step down there. So, the, uh, uh, I think this is a really good here, setup around here. Okay, we've got this bench here. I never really understand what the point of this bench is. So you can get easily two rather large people in there and three sort of normal sized people. Um, okay, it's a bit unnecessary perhaps. But, you know, it's nice to take your shoes off somewhere, such as, such as there, as you come into the van. And maybe you want to sit down there in comfort and keep your feet up there. Or maybe you want to sit in the passenger seat and keep your feet there. You know, whatever. Right. Like it? Not like it. What do you think? As a cheaper brand, it's uh, quite a nice layout, in my opinion.